with your Buzz Lightyear initial impressions, yeah, initial reaction. We'll do a full review next week, but I want to get like your your Buzz Lightyear reaction. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll just say this: um, Pixar, Pixar is back uh, with with Lightyear. Uh, you know, with all we've been talking about Disney and Pixar and the direction of the company, um, Lightyear is just a return to good old Pixar fun that we had years ago. It's just a plain old fun sci-fi adventure. It's got all the cute elements you need in it. Um, Socks, the robot cat, is going to fly off the toy shelves at at various Disney theme parks. You know, it's it's super cute character. Um, you know. Uh, Yes, yes, there is a same-sex couple, but it's treated very respectfully. Um, and but other than that, it's not woke. And and I think again, it Pixar just focuses in on one idea and tells a story beyond that. And, and in this movie, it's this idea that um, the mistakes you make in life, no matter how big or how small, um, is not going to derail your life. But there is good that can come out of it. And um, yeah, so so maybe for a brief moment in time, we're gonna we're gonna have an actual good movie from Disney that people are going to like. I don't know if I believe you. I think that you're. <laughs> I think that I know you're, you're so shell shocked, but but I'm shell shocked. Yeah, I, 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 look, I'll see for myself next week. Um, I know you saw it. Yeah, you were Eric, at the same. I was with Eric Weber, the- and I was with Rodrigo, and the. You know, we loved it. I heard there was people, people were laughing. People are having a good time. I mean, that's, that's, that's what we got out of, out of Lightyear. Again, I'll see it for myself. Because <laughs> I think you're biased towards Disney a little. Bit. I am. I, I'll admit it. I'm, I'm a mark for Disney. But, but again, uh, you know, I'm coming around to the cracks in the armor there. Oh, well, well, there there are many. Um, the one thing I keep hearing, and I heard this from Eric Weber, um, his YouTube channel, just look up, it's Midnight Movie Talk, um, and he could he could use a sub, so throw a sub his way. Uh, Eric Weber, he was talking about it, it basically focuses on Socks the Cat. It's pretty much like all Socks the Cat is well, the thing. It's it's like, you know, having Pam Anderson in your movie. You know, it, it, the focus is on Pam Anderson. It's just the, the Socks the Cat is just cute. Is, is super cute and uh you know and it plays a big role in it but you know this is still a light year story and uh, look alan just admit it's another bait and switch it's the buzz <laughs> light year movie but it's really the socks movie that's <laughs> what it is we've seen it over and over again it's socks the movie but they're selling it as buzz light year i call bs on you alan see uh, i think it's uh, honestly i think it's a conspiracy by disney i think disney is is purposely putting out so much crap to to just for Lightyear to be that great movie that everyone's gonna go and see. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, let's let's uh, we'll, let's talk to people in the chat here and give you a couple of quick reminders. One, please like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to we reached forty two thousand subscribers uh, this week. I'm very excited about it because everyone knows what the number forty two means. It's the secret means everything. Point. Means everything exactly. So forty-two thousand. We want to we want to increase our subscribers. So please like, share, subscribe to the podcast, to our channel, uh, and also if you'd like a film thread T-shirt like I'm wearing right now, you can get them on uh, shop.filmthread.com. That helps support everything that we do. And as a reminder, film thread T-shirts cure nudity on contact and please subscribe to our film threat newsletter like we send a newsletter we actually send our email newsletter out when we go live so it's just another quick reminder and we have the link right there in the email newsletter so go to filmthreat.com slash newsletter and check it out and you can follow us on everything we're film threat on everything and if you want something free the last thing i'm going to say i'm the last plug i'm i got to learn to power through these quicker uh but send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to film threat 5042 wilshire boulevard pmb 1500 los angeles california 90036 i will ship you out something free like a film threat bumper sticker and if you put a lot of postage on it i'll throw you some some dvds i'm serious send me a big envelope a bunch of you know stamps whatever you got them lying around 
and I will send you back a package of free stuff. And who doesn't Did love you it? really say Wilshire, by the way? Wilshire. <laughs> Wilshire. I want to it's try Wilshire. To, it's Wilshire. Will, I know it's pronounced Wilshire, but some people don't get the spelling correct. Yeah, it's okay. W-I-L-S-H-I-R-E. Will Wilshire. So sort of, whatever. Okay. Uh, there you go. But let's look, let's uh, see who's in the chat today uh, before we get started, because it is going to be a big, big show. Uh, Scott Miller says Jurassic World was enjoyable, nostalgia, fluff, but JW2 failed on multiple levels. The only positive was Chris Pratt's charisma. We're going to talk about we're going to talk about Jurassic World right after we check in with all of you. Matt Jones, I watched RRR last night. OK, take a drink. I, I found it woke, ridiculous, bombastic nonsense with terrible dialogue and caricature villains that lack context and nuance. I also find it highly entertaining. <laughs> um, I don't think, I think you, you could read into it that it's woke, but it, it's it's 100% not woke. Yeah, just the it, fact that guns for everybody, that, that's not yeah, a woke concept. Like, uh, Matt Jones, I have to disagree with you vehemently. It is not the only thing that's woke about it is maybe that like the British are the enemy and it's uh, they're it's it's set in colonial uh, India, right? So they're a col. I mean, this is history. This isn't like any woke. But this is you know, uh, India was a British colony, and the uh, the big theme of it is that is that you know if they just had guns, they could drive them out. Mm-hmm. If they just had guns, they would be able to drive out uh, the British invaders. So there you go. Um, so yeah, I don't. I, I disagree with you on the woke aspect of that. Uh, and You're right. Everywhere else, definitely. X douchey McDouche X says RRR greater than Jurassic World. There you go. Um, and then Phil W says thank you for sharing the fan edits the other day. So much better than what Disney released. Yes, if you looked at our live stream on Wednesday. We talked about Kenobi and I shared, and I believe the link is in the description. I yeah. shared a fan edit of the first three episodes of Kenobi and it improves it. I still think it's polishing a turd. Yeah, but... go to the backup link because the main link is is no longer working. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So there's a backup link. So maybe we want to edit that. So there we go. Aunt Anno, Anna says, hey, for $9.99, thank you for your super chat. Happy Friday, everyone. Much love to you both, especially chat and mods. Yes, thank you to the mods there. It's going to be an interesting day. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting day based on the movies we're talking about and some of the topics. So we appreciate the mods here. Flaccid Phoenix, give him a subscribe to his channel. Uh, and here he is. Look at this. Flaccid Phoenix commenting in the chat. Disney is pushing a sock agenda and I won't have it. There you go. <laughs> and Dempsey says, like that slap button. You just want to see, you just want to see that video. Is that what it is? Wait, do you mean this? Do you mean this video? No, no, I think you mean this. <laughs> yeah. This is just your reminder to subscribe. It's the last thing before we get to it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so there you go. And Derek Douglas says, has Mickey Mouse got some dirt on Alan? We'll see. Alan catching um, those Disney checks, says Hank VP. Yeah, I mean, Alan, look, look at all that. Here's your chance to be called a shill. You're a shill. No, I, I, have, I mean, they're not giving me my. I've given Disney so much money in my life so much of my money it, it's insane yeah it's, exactly uh, yeah i regret it yeah anomalous content says hey chris and alan don't know how big you are in physical media but the theatrical cut of the warriors is finally available on Bru- blu-ray thanks to imprint and it's gorgeous to behold yeah that is a i think that's a classic yeah um, and uh i was not aware of the blu-ray release that's pretty awesome but yeah i'm still a i'm still a physical media guy Still a physical media guy. Just mm-hmm. I gotta have it. That way they don't. That way they're not changing the movie by putting like new warnings at the beginning for no reason whatsoever. So Beowulf, Beowulf's Revenge says it was more of a lack of guns. There were also lots of different Indian factions that didn't like each other. They weren't really a united country. Mm-hmm. True. I mean that this isn't that movie though. That's like that would be like a documentary, right? This is a very it's a it's a fun adventure that has deeper layers to it and um yeah i i know rrr comes up like (laughs) nearly every episode it's really because i'm upset that more people haven't seen it 
that here it is, like we can sit here, I, I, it's boring to me to complain about every movie every week. And we're about to complain about Jurassic World Dominion. We're about to what? do that. We're about to do that. And <laughs> so I want there to be some something hopeful. Hey, here's other indie movies. Here's other films that are out there like RRR. So there you go. <clears throat> um, Shuxi says 42 is still not as good as 69. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Shelby AC, Toy Story 4 made me so mad. I don't know if I could go back. Just want to let it lie at TS3. Yeah, TS3 yeah. was really emotional. That scene where they're all yeah. holding hands, facing their own death, which let's face it, childhood toys go places to die. That's just a reality. You know, I remember when they were holding hands about to die, I said to myself, I, I, I thought to myself, they could really end the movie right here. I mean, they could really die. I mean, that's how how good Pixar is at storytelling. Because I thought they were actually going to burn them to death. Lord Blueberry the First says, Alan, are, are are they threatening you? Do you need help? <laughs> Blink twice if you're not okay. All right. It's a good movie. It's a good <laughs> movie. Well, we'll we'll do a deeper review next week because yeah. I, I feel like I'm going to have an opposing opinion based on other people I've spoken to. Akanika says, stand by your review, Alan. We don't have to agree. It used to be fun to debate. It actually is fun to debate. Yeah. As much as like I will tease Alan or you know whatever like and we have different opinions i don't know i want to hear his opinion yeah so and and i'm ready for another disney check i still like dr strange so. <laughs> matthew a kobo says that room is starting to drive alan crazy <laughs> <laughs> i know right? we got the black sheet here to cover up the the pink cabinet <laughs> patrick lemire says interesting the beauty of the original buzz was the whole philip k dick for kids aspect of a toy not knowing it's a toy beautiful looking film oh wow that's mm -hmm. I like that comment, yeah. Patrick. But, yeah, I mean that's true. But this is this is you know his or his this is the movie that the toy is based on, and it's a space adventure. And, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, CD Stein sixty nine says because the last few Pixar movies have been less than stellar, but I'll believe it when I see it myself as well. Um, Zach says hashtag all Alan's nipples. <laughs> 